Hey everybody, Greens with Envy Homestead. Kind of windy today. I'm hoping that uh, tucking my Bluetooth inside my shirt is going to help break down some of that wind. Uh, been working on the gardens. Got three of them up so far and then other miscellaneous beds. I recommend you don't put all your eggs in one basket when it comes to gardening. So let's get started. So we're going to do this reverse order. This can be a garden three. <clears throat> you can see I've got a hose out here and we've been watering this. And uh, hope the wind's behaving itself so you can hear what I'm saying. We uh, got this tilled up. This particular garden's not planted yet. So we'll give you an update when we get it done. unusual place to nest but uh, hidden from the hawks green briars and everything but you don't have any cover there okay <clears throat> this is a little reserve tank There's my sump pump whether you're getting water from your municipality or electricity I know you've seen One of the ponds on this property. Let's see if I can go in here. There's the dam for that pond. And if you watched any of your videos, you've seen, seen us up there fishing with the grandkids. So the trick is getting the water from the pond, a pond. Uh, give me an idea. Another one over there. If you look south. Um, That's honey. She's about to fold. Anyway, several more several ponds over there. Grandpa set up this, and there's uh, swells all over this property. There's a good example of a swell right there. Blackberries, da 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 da. More fruit trees. Uh, Two-year-old hay. We're going to be using that for mulch. Ground crop cover, but. <clears throat> get back away from the uh, your domicile without electricity for a sump pump would be a problem so how do you remedy it? How do you try it? Okay there you have it. Municipal water it's finest. We're running about uh, 125 feet of water, garden hose out here with very old hose put together with hose clamps and duct tape baling wire that kind of stuff if you have dealt with those kind of hoses you know what some of the obstacles are the stuff you do with a homestead you you uh, make last what you got and hopefully it holds out till you get done with the project so this is garden two you can see the rows are mounted up so these are all ready Rooster can't wait to get in there and scratch around and pull the fence down. <clears throat> so I'm gonna be gonna be eliminating a bunch of roosters here in the next week or so because we don't need so many and our freezer does. Okay, so I think I've titled this video Free Water, Gift from God. I already watered this number one garden earlier today this is a downhill slope we run our our uh, our rows where it catches the water it's supposed to something we're helping with erosion is we planted this whole front first row uh, loaded it up with garlic you see them laying on the ground that's compliments of our roosters that's not a sewer line, that's just an extra water line that we haven't not attached to anything. Don't be afraid of that. <clears throat> so, anyway, getting back to free water from God. Okay, it's about uh, 1500, 3, 3 p.m. to you civilians. And uh, it took me about maybe an hour to fill up these two 255-gallon drums here. 
and this is a this is a 250 gallon tote. Took me a little over two hours to fill this up, and uh, as soon as I get done with that other barrel, in fact, I'll be doing that. <clears throat> I'll be doing that before we go up the hill. Um, anyway, just mathematically, it's it's uh, pumping about a hundred gallons, hundred gallons an hour, which you know you don't need a lot of water pressure just for just for watering your garden. In fact, it will erode your soil if it's too strong. So, yeah, looks like it's finished. As you can tell, this is pure water. It comes off the mountains that you've seen in our videos before, but it's slightly muddy, which that's actually a good thing for gardening because it's picking up sediment, silt, decayed debris, all that other kind of stuff from, uh, from the bottom of the pond washes down the mountain into the pond <clears throat> so very nutrient dense water now we're gonna chase this as long as I got this in the frame let me show you what we got here <clears throat> got this from Bob Davis you'll hear me talk about him on quite a bit he gave me probably 400 feet of this bubbler hose and you can put a whole network of that pretty cheap one for each row of your garden and it will really balance out your put the hose down that comes with little staples and you can put it in place once you get your seeds set up and everything anyway it works great the gravity fed there's no heavy pressure on that it's just uh, going to dribble out that's what they call it dribblers okay let's go up the hill and see what we got Okay, there's the hose you saw going into the totes. There's a shut off. That's a inch and an eighth. One inch. Can't remember what size that black line is, but it's poly. And uh, let's just follow it and see where it comes from. Okay. So again, barely springtime here, but it's still beautiful. <clears throat> let's go see where that comes from that little white deal right there this line is easy to crimp when you crimp it sometimes it gets a hole in it and holes are not our friends when it comes to siphoning you get an air lock in there and it it'll break your siphon and then then you don't have a siphon and that grunting sound is this old man walking up this hill up here to the dam <clears throat> see deer every day up here it's beautiful get a heavy rain you've probably even seen videos of this spillway it roars when the water comes down the let's see if I can zoom in there ah, it's a little hard to see but there's about three tributaries runoff that, uh, that feed this pond I think it's two acres I can't I don't know if ever, anyone's ever even measured it so, here we go. Water lines go out there to the uh, raft support. The, the pipe hangs down, the mouth of it hangs down about, uh, I don't know, a foot and a half down into the water. I've got it elevated like that, so it's straight up and down. 
and then I've got the other end tied off of the rock so it doesn't end up in the in the reeds up there so this is God's free water this will get down in August depending on how dry your spring and summer is again I apologize for the wind I know it's a Ah, oh, there was a beaver. Yep. Little fellas are everywhere. There's, is that one up there laying on his back? I think it is. See the little feet sticking up? Anyway. <clears throat> That's a... Great area. And as you can tell, it's completely pristine. There's not even any cows up here, just deer, uh, some wild hogs, other, obviously other forms of wildlife. And uh, there's your evidence of beaver. You might have seen them on, on my Facebook page. We pushed a tree over the bend. Chewed almost all the way down by a beaver. So, this is just the bottom line of uh, what it takes to make it in this old world. This, uh, I just posted a video on Facebook about a nuclear plant. I don't remember what state it was in, but it had four reactors that started shutting down and overheated. And they're concerned that it was a um, uh, trying to crash the system. So there's a blackberry sprout. Blackberries all over this property. You couldn't get rid of them if you wanted to. We're not going to use any kind of poison. We'll just make some. I was at Steve Steve's the other day. And he said, here, why don't you try this? He said, just smell it. And it was in a glass. He poured it in a glass and kept it hid from me. It was in a mason jar. So I'm already wondering what it was. But it was Blackberry Moonshine. And you can buy it. He bought that one. But uh, anyway, it was really good. If I knew how to, uh, I'm not much of a drinker, but... If I knew how to make moonshine, that I mean, it went down like Kool-Aid. It was you'd probably get yourself in trouble if you was a drinker. So, okay. Well, um, we can uh, go for a little walk and kind of show you around. But the main reason for me showing you this video is our siphon system. It siphons out of the pound and as long as we get a few supplemental rains between now and August we shouldn't have any kind of problem at all <clears throat> so went ahead and anchored this down because our dogs or deer or hogs something could be moving this line around we don't want to break our siphon oh that's what I was going to talk about um, to get the siphon started along here I'm trying to get out the wind I'm not sure that's going to work very good to get the siphon started what I did was got the line all hooked up like I wanted it and then I took my garden hose and I connected it to a double female washing machine hose. You know, it screws on the back of your washing machine. The other one hooks up to whatever. And then I attached it to this line and then I turned the municipal water on. Turned the municipal water on and filled up the line. Since it's all uphill, I just waited for all the air bubbles to come out up at the top up there. And, uh, 
that's a little better. <coughs> after I got uh, after I got the line charged with water, all I did was shut the water off the faucet, disconnect the garden hose from the from this line, and uh, it basically just worked in reverse. All the water that's gravity fed downhill just started pulling. Once you get that siphon started, it'll just continue to siphon until you uh, until you shut it off. That's the main reason for that shut off valve down there. And I've walked, we used it two years ago and uh, I've left it for, I don't know, two weeks at a time for it because we had some pretty good rains and come back to it. It, it worked just great. Okay, let's go back down the hill and wrap this thing up. So just um, just an idea. If you don't use uh, pond water or well water, but you have to use utility water, it really stunts the growth of the uh, of your seedlings. Whether you started them a month ago, whether you start them tomorrow, um, seedlings can be pretty precarious when it comes to um, what they're susceptible to and depending on how much uh, chemicals and things that your water department puts in your in your uh, in your water uh, chlorines and I've seen all kinds of stuff they put in there and you think I wonder everybody's drinking out of plastic water bottles and plastic not good for you either Uh, you know, I could go on and on, but this, uh, you know, 2021 was crazy, and 22 just said, hold my beer and watch this, it's, we got World War III breathing down our neck, we've got, uh, possibility of shutting down our electric, whether it's EMP, whether it's, um, you know, a foreign country, crashing our our internet systems everything we have runs off of it uh, off the internet off of computers and, uh, I tell you I hope uh, I hope everybody's thinking seriously about other alternatives other than running down to the Walmarts and what we're we gonna buy today uh, whether it's the dollar collapse whether it's a complete traffic collapse. I know you've seen videos of, uh, of us delivering campers down to uh, Louisiana through the hurricanes. And we've got down there, delivered a couple of them before the hurricane even hit. And it's just locked down, grid, grid down everything. People trying to get away from the, the hurricane. You can imagine every one of our interstates being locked up people trying to get to places like this and um, you may be walking because if you're not prepared with a full tank of gas and I hate to get ugly about it but man it's 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 time people you better start thinking about these things because um, our leaders sure don't seem to be thinking about the consequences of it um, uh, I'm getting to the point where I'm just past the politics of the whole thing because it seems like every every last one of them up there in the district of criminals is, I don't care what side of the aisle it is, or if you're the janitor in the middle of the aisle, it's a, uh, just the right and left wing of the same bird. So, anyway, enough of that. I hope you get prepared. Hope you're safe. Hope you've got family you can depend on hope you got neighbors you can depend on we got great neighbors here in this valley um steve being one of them he doesn't steve he likes watching my videos and making them comments you'll see him on facebook i'd tell you his name but i don't want to get him in trouble so uh anyway hey we're running about 139 140 subscribers yeah um Hit that like bell and subscribe. If you don't, if you haven't subscribed already, we don't put out that many videos. We ain't gonna bother you. Hopefully, what we're showing you is stuff that you can learn from and you can uh, uh, you know, 
get out of the pinch. Protect yourself. Protect somebody else. Uh, lock it up. Store it up. The main thing is grow up. You know, everybody, not everybody's going to uh, spoon feed you from now on. It's it's time we started doing the gardens ourselves again. Get that victory garden going. Uh, I don't really like using that term because that implies we're back in World War again. Sure don't need that. That may be past tense though. Um, but pray for this nation. Pray for your friends and your family and everyone around you. Um, pray for your state. Pray for your local government. Pray for your health. If you don't have your health, not much of this is going to matter. Um, push away from the table. Slide it over to a young and especially them skinny ones that don't get off their Game Boys long enough to... I know, they don't use Game Boys anymore. Anyway. Hey, let's go look at some more of the stuff of the garden. The seed starts here. We're starting to pop out finally. Hello, Zadie. What are you doing, girl? This is Zeke's baby girl. Half Irish Wolfhound, half Great Pyrenees. Got her brother around here somewhere. <clears throat> okay, let's take a peek. Mama's it, we got some seeds coming up. I need to drill a hole in that one. Um, come on, we can find one here, surely. I think those are little, little pellets in there. I think those are worm eggs. Where we got this stuff had lots of Lots of worm eggs in it. Those are radishes there. And a tiny, tiny little one coming up. Hey, look at there. I see something purple. <laughs> what is this? This is Red Rambo radish sprouts. Watermelons. Looks like a diamond. Here's some coming up. Here we go. Right, sweet peas. Those are sugar snap. Not just says Alaskan peas. Some carrots. I'm not going to go through all these. You got the idea. They're starting to come up, and things are looking promising. We have to till up another garden to get all this in. So. Ordered some specialty seeds. So say, yeah, some more of that red Rambo butternut squash, or so what's that called? Waltham butternut. Um, get you some winter squash. Uh, I bought them at the store, but I don't think I've ever raised them before. But they store all winter, all winter. What can those be? Those are some kind of peas. I see one right there. Exciting. Exciting. Pumpkin. Yellow beans. Ooh, look at this. Look at this. She was right. Which one is this? It's a business card. I'm not sure why that's in there. If I had to guess, I'd say those are either turnips, beets, or radishes. They all look pretty similar. Some black radishes. That's some of them specialty seeds about. <clears throat> Cucumbers. Just reminded myself. What is this? Spinach. Not breaking through yet. Here's something breaking through. Green beans. I don't think so. I don't think so, Tim. That's not green beans. Probably more radishes. Okay. Okay. Talked about alternative... Excuse me. Alternative spots for gardens. Um, I bought these at garage sale. I bought about 30 of them. Little kid wading pools. They were basically brand new. And... Um, Dollar and a half or fifty cents, I don't remember. Before we got there, I think it's rabbit droppings. 
That's some garlic in here. These are just rings. We don't have anything in there. Well, we've got some clover. There you go. <clears throat> All right, this is the garlic <clears throat> from here to over there, basically half of it. Uh, I dug up half of it, and it made two rows in our garden. What is it? What is it? Xander, what is it, buddy? You need some attention? Hmm? Another one of Zeke's. We're going to breed him with that mess right there when she gets old enough. You're not old enough either, are you? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so anyway, the garlic that I bought, um, I had it at Pruitt's for two cloves for 50 cents. Each one of these cloves um, broke up into about 10 a piece. Let me show you this real quick. This right here is not a garlic. Sorry about that. Big thumbs. See that little seed head right there? This is a wild onion. People up here make wild onion soup this time of year. Let me just go ahead and pull that little fella out. Nope, that's garlic. Sorry. My bad. Let me pull this little fella out. There you go. So, they use the whole thing. They strip the, the other stuff off of it, of course. But you would not believe how fast and how thick these propagate. And, uh, whether you're using them for seasoning or making a soup, French onion soup, whatever kind of soup you want. Those are some of last year's red onion sets. Looks like Xander's been all over this. I think Sam planted some tomato seeds in there. More tomato seeds. We're just using these as starting beds right now. So, so I'm not sure what we're starting. Looks like we're starting dogs in the seed beds. Xander. Sam, get out of there. Get out of there. Sam likes all their Pyrenees names to start with a Z. <laughs> that girl right there is a mess. She looked like a baby seal when she was born. Okay, I know you've all seen her chickens. we got probably 50 chickens. Just got a seven or eight of them in here. We're trying to get them to go broody. Look at that, it's always pretty. Probably some more up there. Oh, one more. <clears throat> okay, in case you're wondering, these are not meat rabbits. These are just Sam's pets. <coughs> Lion head. Mm, something, something. Angora. I think that's what they're called. Lion head Angora. And those two right there are meat rabbits, but uh, that's the doe on the right and buck on the left. We've had her for six or seven months. She's never had a litter. I'm guessing that's why they sold her. She's just too fat to be fertile, I guess. So, anyway, this is that lemon tree I've shown you before, but it's in full bloom right now. And Maybe been around lemons, you know what an amazing fragrance it is. Carrie knows the official name, Lemonus Maximus, or something like that. I don't know. Poke salad starting to come up, and this is kind of some more ideas I was telling you about finding all kinds of alternatives to plant stuff, and doesn't necessarily have to be in a garden. I guess some sage planted in that one, daffodils, and I believe those are daylilies. I sure figured out a way to make a fountain out of that. That's beautiful. Potatoes in the tire. Don't worry about the tire leaching chemicals or anything like that. The uh, it's been on the ground for I don't know how long. So any chemicals in there? This is a track off of the skid steer. Yeah. 
crops out of it. We have a potato bed if we get it watered good. And here's something I'm real proud of. This is elderberry that we brought back last year. We made it through the winter. Pretty hefty freeze a couple times got down to the teens. And I just had it covered up with uh, uh, one of them swimming pools. Had a little dirt in it. And it held its own. I know the place to get a whole bunch more, so we're going to go get a bunch more. And I showed you those wild onions. They'll just grow anywhere in your grass. And these right here are the seed heads. And those that's how it takes off that. And it spreads from the, from the bulb also. I looked this up. I knew it was chives, but they claimed that it was Chinese chives. And I don't know how it got here, but anyway. They're real, very sweet and tasty. Slice them up in onions, stuff like that. All right. So I think I'm going to call it a day on this video. And see this red, 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 red dirt. And uh, do an update when we start seeing some little heads popping up. And uh, might do an update when we see Honey after she's folded and had her coat. He likes to see his spring new birth. Oh, there's some baby chicks around here. Let's go see if we can find them. Four of them. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching. Um, leave some comments. Leave questions. See if I can't get to them. I don't know much, but I can get by. After all, that's what it's all about. Fishing, that time of year, start fishing again. There's you some meat. Anyway, hey, appreciate y'all watching. Love you lots. Sam says hi. She's doing some projects of her own right now. So, we're going to start back on that house. We'll be uh, showing you what's going on over there. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe. See ya.